Hello friends, uh, welcome again. In this video, I will give a walkthrough about our de WordPress database tables, which are additionally created when you uh, set up or create a network site. Okay, so like quick recap, uh, quick recap of the previous video is that like in the one of the video, in the multi-site overview video, uh, we have uh, uh, I have give a walkthrough about how to set up the net multi-site setup, then how the uh, network admin looks like and other few. Uh, functionality and the features we have so, uh, we have looked into about the uh, WordPress multi-site setup. Okay, so now now let's uh, let's see how the database tables looks like. Okay, so um, these are the like uh, I have opened this learn wp underscore ms database table which I have used uh, for uh, with my local site setup multi-site setup. Okay, and these are the list of the tables you can see here. Okay, so let me just give a, a first overview about the w, uh, WP underscore site. Okay, so before that WP underscore is the table prefix I have used uh, and set up uh, in the uh, WP config.php file. Okay, so you can see the table prefix here. Okay, and this is our uh, main, uh, you, you can say the base prefix also. So in a in a single site setup, uh, base prefix and the prefix are the same because uh, WP underscore uh, uh, like in the single site setup because uh, there won't be any other uh, database uh, uh, tables. Okay, but in a multi-site setup, WP underscore is our uh, base prefix. Okay, and here you can see the WP underscore three, WP underscore two, which is our prefix. Okay, so I will give a like what is the difference beyond that. Okay, so now the WP underscore site. Okay, so this is our main table which have a uh, domain and the part information about the network. Okay, so learn WP MS dot is our main network site. Okay, and then the site meta will have that network uh, settings. What are the network settings? You can see here in the, the network admin settings. All other these settings you can uh, you can see into the site meta table WP site meta table with the site ID. Okay, so similarly, it's uh, you have seen the post meta, comment meta, user meta, right? Term meta. Similarly, we have the site meta table for the site uh, sites. Okay, so this is the where um, all the settings you can uh, you can find it out here. Okay. Um, so there are the two additional tables you can see for the multi-site setup. These tables are not available in the single site setup. Okay. Um, then we have the WP blocks. Okay. So here the WP blocks will uh, save all the information about the size created in the network, including our main site learn WP MS .s, which is also a blog. Okay. Under the uh, under the main network uh, network, the network domain and the main site domain will be the same. Okay. So here you can see the three uh, blog IDs, one, two, three, the site ID belong to. So these blocks belong to this network. Okay. So in WordPress, there are possibilities to create a multi-network setup. This is currently we have created a single network. Uh, based on this site and site meta tables, uh, probably we can create um, multi-network setups, right? We can have multiple networks and each network have their own sites, sub-sites. Okay. So there is a plugin. Uh, couldn't remember the name, but there is a plugin which uh, which you can use to enable the multi-network setup. Okay, so that's why the otherwise the site WP site table on always will have this uh, single record. Okay, okay. So now the blocks. Okay, and all the blocks meta related information you can find it out here, but not the site setting. Individual site settings will be stored into the options table. Okay, but not in the block meta. Block meta can be used with different way. Okay. Um, yeah, so, the, so this block meta and a blocks table, okay, you can see. Then the, we have the WP signups, okay. So if the user, uh, like um, if in your WordPress site setup, if the you have enabled the user registration, then user can sign up 
um, in the multi-site setup okay and that records will be the, uh, you can see here so for example i have added a central admin user previously which uh, record have been added it here with along with activation key and all other data okay and similarly registration log it's used to log the admin users so when we create a new site and based uh, and like when we create a new site we also assign the network uh, uh sorry site admin email address right so we can select the users who are going to manage or admin of that site so those records uh, will be registration log will be used here so wp registration log and the wp signups tables okay so these are the tables uh, like let me just quickly recap the site site meta registration log signups then blog meta and blocks table uh, these tables are related to the multi-site setup okay so when you set up a multi-site network then these tables you can see in the database okay and we have the wp users and wp user meta tables are the common tables in the network setup okay so like the, there will be only a uh, single table to manage all the users database tables okay so all the informations you can see i will also give you uh, we will see how this uh, uh, when we have the same same uh, same database table for the users and how the access uh, access of the users with the different sites are managing okay so and apart from that you can see the wp underscore 2 and wp underscore 3 so similarly uh, the main site setup have wp options post meta post uh, terms terms data users meta comments meta right options all these uh, tables you can already have uh, go through in the single site setup database right so all these tables are common so uh, main site is the site id one okay which is our blog id one first blog so uh, that that those uh, uh, so means uh, these tables are belong to that site main site okay the site id one okay and this wp underscore two underscore comment meta and all other tables are belong to the uh, site id two the second site okay and then the third site which we have created uh, in one of the multi-site overview video right so this is the uh, wp underscore three underscore other than that all the tables names will be different but just to identify the same tables with for the different sites uh, this uh, wp underscore then site id underscore prefix has been used and these prefix are called the like the prefix okay and wp underscore is our base prefix okay so that is the difference between uh, prefix and the base prefix in the multi-site setup okay so yeah so all of the information you can see here so in wp2 post meta you can all the see all the posts available to the se uh, second site and the third site post you can see here okay so other than that all the table information you uh, like similar and the working also similar uh, same as a single site setup only the tables names um, including the prefix and other few tables are uh, there and this is the how this is the way how the like the multi-site setups and all the sites data manage into the single database thanks for watching see you on the next one jay wordpress